Hey, what is up you guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you some things you can do in Microsoft Word. They might be things you already know how to do, but if you don't, well then you're going to learn something today from this video. I'm actually going to be slightly honest. I'm making this video series for a friend of mine, but it's going to be beneficial for probably a handful of you out there. So I hope you find this video helpful. So anyway, first things first, I have Microsoft Word 2016 for Mac. A lot of the steps that I'm about to show you should also work for Word 2016 on Windows. Um, what Microsoft has done in this version is made it a lot of things very similar in both operating systems. So this tutorial will work for both Mac and Windows. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to open in a blank document. I'm going to show you how to enable tracking of changes in a document. What you're going to do is come up to the review tab and then there is a little track changes within this menu on the Mac version. They just have a little slider. I believe in the Windows it's just a button icon thing that you click or at least a drop down arrow or something. So I'm going to type up my name, for example, and I will change the font as something that it would probably track. And then I can turn track changes off by coming back to the same section. And this will show what all has been changed to your document. You can also change the style of the document. Go up to design then click on any of these options right up here. So I can change it to something like that, even though you can't really see much actual change, but it has been changed, just trust me. Anyway, if you need to add a footnote, you can come up to the references tab and then click on insert footnote. Then you can click out to get out of your footnotes and such. Then let's say you want to apply a style to a particular line in your document. So highlight it and then over in your home tab, you can pick any of these styles. So I'm going to pick subtle reference and that gets kind of small. There you go, that's how you do that. Let's say you want to put a border around this document. What you're going to do is you're going to come up to the design tab and then go to page borders. You can choose where it goes. If you don't want it on the left side or on the right, top, bottom, etc. I'm just going to hit okay. Next thing, if you need to insert a page break, come up to insert and then on the Mac version, you'll come over here and you'll click page break. I believe in the Windows version, it's a little more obvious where the page break is, but it's still under the insert tab. You have inserted page break and it goes to the next page as is what that is supposed to do. Now let's say you want to display a small amount of data. So you're going to insert a table into this document. Um, if you want to display a lot of data, I suggest doing uh, using Excel or Google spreadsheet, that type of thing, which will be for a different video. Anyway, if you want to insert a table, you just come up to insert and table. Now let's say you need to add more squares than what this uh, tiny little thing allows you or gives you. So let's say you need to add a nine by 11. Well, I have a 10 by seven, I can't make it go past that. So what you're going to do is then click insert table and you will put in the numbers you need and then click OK. And here you have your little table. I'm going to type something and if I hit enter, then I just create a new line within that cell. If I hit tab, then I go over to the next cell. I feel like everyone knows how to insert a picture into a document. So I'm going to hit insert picture. I'm going to pick this particular picture that is on my desktop and click insert. There's how you do that. But you can also add different little effects to your pictures. Welcome to the part of the video where I goofed in the original recording. In the original recording, I showed you that you can right click and click on format picture to add a shadow and such. What I meant to show you was the quick styles. So in the picture format, which will show up when you have clicked on your picture, you'll come over to quick styles and there they are. At least that's how it is in the Mac version. In the Windows version, it is a little more obvious. So anyways, back to the original recording. Now the classic word art, you're going to come up to insert. On the Windows version, there should be an obvious word art, but in mine, I come over to the text and then click word art. 
and then I can select any of these, this one, because why not? Once that is inserted, you can move it around to where you need it, click on it, and type the, whatever you, you it is you need to have your document say. That's a sentence. That's what we're going to put. This is going so well. Okay. <laughs> Um, anyway, then when you are done, you can just click out. Second to last thing I want to cover, let's say you need to insert a placeholder into your document for some kind of citation or whatnot. Um, what you'll do, you will come to the References tab. In the Windows version, there should be a Insert Placeholder, which is a it's just the type of computer I practiced this on. I should have done it on this computer because I'm now finding that there is no placeholder button so what you can do is just insert citation and type in just sample and then come back to it later and then click on edit source and then you can edit all that at when the time comes so that is how you insert a placeholder now let's say you need to insert a bibliography under the same tab select bibliography it should also automatically add all the sources and such that you have i believe that covers everything that i want to cover in this long video so anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to click these red subscribe buttons to subscribe to their respective channels and as always i will see you guys in the next tutorial Bye bye